All right, chat is that I normally don't come on the social media thing with my problems, but I felt like this was one of the problems that I need to come on social media with. So I had a homeboy that told me, hey, Teddy, bro, you ain't been on a date with a woman in about almost two years. Only reason why I don't go on dates because they don't work out for me. I told people multiple times. A lot of women have asked me, hey, take me on a date. And I genuinely say no. So he gonna have a nerve to tell me, you know, this is why you always grumpy. This is why you always got attitude. And I said, that's not true. I'm just I'm just a genuinely grumpy person. So I thought about what he said. I like, you know what? I haven't been on a date in two years. Let, let, let me just go on a date. Long story short, I let her pick the place. It's some place called 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 toast. If you live in Atlanta, you know you know what toast is. It's, it's like a little breakfast spot. You know, you got a little brunch. You know, they got good drinks and stuff like that, right? So we get to the place. We, we wait about 10, 15 minutes to be seated, which is normal. So when we sit down, the dude gave us the menu. Everything on this menu costs more than $25 for some eggs and some bacon and a little couple of little potatoes. So the young lady that I took out, she was, she was, she looked like she can eat, you know, if you know what I mean. She looked like she can eat. So I said, you know what? This one gonna be expensive. So let me go ahead on and make something at the house. I already have prepared. So I made something at the house just in case our bill was too high. So now it's time to order. You know, I get me, just, I said, just let me get a toast. Let me get a toast breakfast. Let me just get the eggs. Uh, with the bacon, with the potatoes, and that's it. Bring me a water and bring me a coffee. That'll be it for me, right? Y'all, when I tell you when she flipped this menu over, I already knew she she about to spend some money. She about to make me get in my wallet. I know it because when she flipped the menu, that where all the drinks was at. She ain't order food yet. She asked, can I take your food order? He, she flipped the menu and started giving her drink orders. So Toast got these little fancy little drinks with the little smoke coming out of it, make it look, you know, she, you know, so she ordered one of them, right? So as she ordering that and, you know, her food, I tend to get my menu and look at it. That drink itself was $45 just because it had a little, the little fog and stuff coming out the drink. So that right there, that's when I already start calculating. Okay, that's 45. The breath is going to be another 20 something, close to 30. And I still got a tip. So in my head, I already knew this whole little, this little date, little breakfast date thing was going to be expensive. So I hit my homeboy up and I asked him, hey, bro, cash at me a honey because I'm in a situation right now that's going to cost me more than two. So my homeboy sent me the money. Now we waiting. Now we waiting on our drinks and all this stuff. Cool. Now we waiting on the food. Now we have this. No small talk, just, you know, just kicking it. So her homegirls had just got done eating. They was about to head out and leave. They seen her. They wanted to come tell her bye. Good to see you, girl, this and this. One of her other homegirls said, I ain't eating none. I'm hungry. So I looked at her and I looked at my date and I say, dang, she might want to go home and go eat something. No. My date decides to tell her, y'all come sit down. Girl, we, we finna eat, we finna drink. So a homegirl started getting all excited. They come and they sit down and stuff like that. The girl was excited like, oh yeah, the dude that she with gonna pay for everything. That's why she sat down. She started giving me compliments like, oh, you kind of cute. Da, 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 da. You look like a little, like a little Shaq Sedge the Entertainer. I'm like... First of all, ain't none of them attractive. So I know you lying to me right now. I, I might look like them, but they, no, I'm not, I'm not going for it. So the girl that didn't eat breakfast decides to call the waiter over and she started giving the waiter an order. She started asking for lamb chops, scrambled cheese, four eggs, four eggs or scrambled eggs. She said she wanted double grits. She wanted four strips of bacon, chicken sausage, and she wanted extra toast. And now I'm still looking at her like, who finna pay for this? So as she giving her the order, she said, girl, I low-key want one of them drinks right there you got. My date decided to tell her, go ahead and get one, girl. The girl, the friend, looked at me. and like, you know what? Yeah, you right. Let me go ahead and get one. 
I don't know what that look was, but you better make sure this bill be separate. So all the food come out, all the drinks out, we all get done eating, we all get done drinking. Cool. Now is this is the most this is the most toxic time of a day. It's when that waiter come back and he asks, How am I doing the bill? I looked at this man, I I, I instantly want to just punch him in the face. So the girls get quiet. I get quiet. We all looked at the waiter. The waiter said, you know what? I'm going to put it all on one bill. So the girls start getting all excited like, oh, you fun, da, da, da. What's your name? You messing with our best friend, this and this. Mine now, this whole time on this date, they haven't said one word to me. But when the bill come back, oh, now y'all concerned on who I am. This bill come back. This bill was $275.64. For any for anybody out there that 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 does waitress and stuff like that. This is this is this is a this is a this is a this is just a tip. When you see somebody on a date, you see one dude, bunch of women, or even if they're just one woman, one dude, bring separate bills, bruh. Alright? Don't bring it on one bill. Bring it separate. So he bring me the bill. He told me, how would you want to pay car or cash? I told him, sir, you need to separate this. I'm only paying for me and her food, not the homegirl food. The waiter going to have the nerve to say it out loud. So you want the bill split? And I ain't care. And you right. I said, you dog all right, I want it split. So the homegirls over there, they whispering, they judging stuff like that. Oh, he ain't really got it like. No, I, I do. I do. But I just pay my bills. I don't need to explain that to nobody. So the waiter told me, oh, we can't split it. It all got to be on one bill. So the girls immediately get excited. They get up. They leave. They say, hey, we going to cash up her the money. We got to go. I know that little trick right there women do. Like, no, I'm going to cash up. I'm going to cash up. Just pay for it now. I know the trick. So they get up and they leave. I say, okay, bet. So I get up. I tell her, I got to go to the bathroom. You know good darn well, I ain't go to no bathroom. When I tell you I got up and I booked it towards that front door, because <laughs> what you're not going to do is, is try my intelligence like I'm crazy. So what I did was I left her there. I left her. She Ubered there so she could Uber her way back. I ain't got that. That's just the only reason why I don't go in. This her right now. Ignore. Who? Not me. You won't get me. Only reason, just only reason why I don't do dates. You're not gonna sit up there and do that. Maybe it's not meant for me to go on dates. Maybe there's somewhere out there. It's a girl that that pay. The next time I go to date, she paying for me. I want to get treated like I'm the woman in the relationship. Take me on a date. Come pick me up. Open my door. In the meantime, I'm done with dates.